Alright, so the new FMK wooden dummy has arrived. I want to do a prize review in comparison to the one that I had prior. Um, this is not JKD dummy. Now it's the FMK dummy, wooden dummy. Alright, so that's what I'm promoting. It's not Wing Chun to me. This is FMK. This is my thing. Um, but this is what I ordered. I want to give an honest assessment. The first wooden dummy that I ordered, I really liked it. You know, when I first got it, it was one of my the very first high quality wooden dummy that I ever owned and I did really like it. I still like it. Um, this is the one from ShotlandHouse.com but what ended up happening is I wanted to order another one but he was out of production for like over six months and he wasn't making anymore I don't know why so I had to look for other supplier and then I found another supplier and then ended up getting this one this one is from um, I got it to the, on the website everythingwinchun.com and then I think that they, they had warriormartialartsupply.com that individual is the one that actually created this one alright so I want to give my honest assessment with both um, I think they're, they're around the same price range, they're both over a thousand dollars okay um, you may be getting a better deal from the everything Wing Chun, the warrior martial, martial arts supply I think that they charge just a little bit less Alright, so this one is actually charged a little bit less than that one, I believe. Alright, so I'm going to show you some noticeable differences on um, these wooden dummies that I wanted to point out. One thing that I didn't like about this one is that the base was not built strong enough. Okay, there's a post that comes from the bottom. These are the freestanding ones. I don't want to go ahead and take all the stuff off of the thing because it's too much for me. But there's a base and then there's a post. The post was too short. It's not long enough. All right, the post might have been like this big. It should have been a lot longer. Another thing, if you if you see on the base, it's not that thick. This base right here is only a few inches off. I mean, I mean you're talking about just a few inches off the ground. I'm gonna get a measuring tape, and I'll know specifically. I'll tell you specifically how much clearance there is right here so this base is only about four four inches off the ground okay it's four inches high the base this base is a little bit more almost five inches it's talking about that base is five inches this one's four inches all right now the problem is that because this base is short and the post is coming out it's not strong enough also there's no I didn't really remember seeing any instructions on how to install the post but anyway the screws are supposed to go through the post and and it's supposed to stabilize but what ended up happening is I keep using it and I'm hitting it pretty hard you know, and then what ends up happening it gets loose and it starts wobbling around and had a really hard time stabilizing it. I, just tr I tried putting a bunch of different screws in there and then if that didn't work, the screws just kept you know, ripping apart. Finally, I had my father like cement the post onto the base and ever since then, it's been working really well. Okay, so that is one thing about that. Another thing about this one is there's a line, there basically for some reason, there's, a, there, there's some type of split on this wooden man, this wooden dummy, that goes all the way down. I think it might be a defect or something, but anyway, there's a split that's going all the way down. That's not supposed to be there. Alright. Another thing is when I first got this, um, one of the arms, it cracked. I guess I was hitting it too hard or whatever the case may be. I contacted the person. He sent me a new arm, and he said that that was a defect in the wood or something like that, and that's not supposed to happen. So, it cracked. Um, there was a little crack up here, and just little markers, but I mean, this is, I see this almost like normal wear and tear. But, other than that, it's decent. You know, I mean, not just decent, it's a good quality. But, as we all know, if there's higher quality things out there, you gotta try and experience it in order to see if there's something better. But this is the one from the Shaolin House. You notice the base is also more of a rec like a square rectangle that goes back. 
So you see the base? It's like a square, almost like a rectangular base. Okay, so this is the one from the Shaolin house. They didn't really offer any type of engraving, so I had to put the sticker on there. Alright, so you see that one. Now the new one that I got today from uh, Everything Wing Chun and also the Warrior Martial Arts Supply, there's some noticeable differences. For one, this one is a lot larger. It weighs a lot more and it's a lot bigger as far as the, 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 the actual piece of the wood. It's a lot larger in uh, circumference. I mean, if, if I measure it, we're going to... the This one right here from the Shaolin house is eight and a half. Eight and a half inches. This one right here from the Warrior... Martial arts supply is about nine inches. Okay, so this is this is about like eight and a half, like eight and one fourth actually. This is eight and one fourth, not eight and a half. It's close to eight and one fourth. This one is almost. This is about nine inches. So this is eight and one fourth. This is nine inches around, so it's thicker, it's bigger, all right? You also notice the arms here are a lot smaller and thinner. This one is a lot larger, okay? A lot larger. Now, I was used to using this, but this right here is large, but I think it's better. The reason being is because arms are not small. I mean, I'm a small person, and my, my arm is bigger bigger than this, this right here. This arm is, is like representing like a real size arm. You know what I'm saying? I mean from the elbow out, this is like the size of my arm. So it's good to get that feel of a real thick arm that you gotta pull and grab. So these arms are a lot thicker. That represents something more real. And then it also is harder to break because it's so thick. You know what I mean? Like, because this thing is so, so, so thick, I, don't, I can't even imagine the thing cracking. So these arms are a lot thicker. You know, if we measure the circumference of it, we'd say that uh, this one might be about, about two inches. You know, a little bit more than two inches. This arm right here, we're talking about about three inches. So this is like three inches, this is like two inches. This is like about an inch thicker. The, the, the whole thing is bigger. All right? Another thing, I mean, they improved upon the development of this one. I mean, really, they also gave you some, some things to stand it on to make it taller, which I think is a great thing because I'm always sparring against people bigger than me. And I, I wanted to be able to, to mimic like attacking somebody bigger than me. And this right here serves that purpose. I mean, this thing is probably six feet tall. This thing is probably around five, five feet, four inches. This thing is probably close to six feet, right? And you can also lower it down because there's things that it comes with that allows you to, to make it shorter or taller. It comes with these, these base things that you could add on there these plates, these base plates, there's four of them. You can take them off to make it shorter. You can add it on to make it bigger. But I put it on there because I wanted it to be bigger. And notice the difference between the size. You know, it's a lot bigger, right? Taller. And pretty much everybody that I'm preparing to defend myself against are larger people. I don't ever plan to fight people that are smaller than me or my size. I want to prepare for the pain of large people, and this basically serves that purpose, which is great. This one didn't have that option. Another thing is, the post that this thing is on, this, the, this, the actual wooden piece is a lot longer, and that's what I needed in order to make it like, like more durable. The piece is a lot longer. I, I, I'm not, not going to take it out to, sh to demonstrate which one's longer how much longer it is, but I believe that this one is probably close to four inches longer. It comes with a wooden post, this one might be like this long, and then the other one that I just got might be this long. 
Okay, another thing is, is better built because once you put that post in there, on this model, they have you drill in screws to the side of the post. And then they have you drill in screws to the bottom of the post. That makes it more stabilized. This one right here is just drilling from the bottom. There's no drilling to the sides. Okay? Um, so that's a big plus. You know, this, this, this leg is high quality. You know, thick, nice leg right there. Alright? Um, other things, the base is a, is a unique triangle base which actually saves even more space. So it's a nice base. It's a different type of base. It's more of a triangular base coming from here. Alright, that one's more of a rectangle. This is more a triangle base. Alright, which is, which is nice. Now, the next thing is the finish. The finish on this is very, very nice. Look at the entire finish and how, how much it, uh, it just gleams. This one right here, the finish is not as, um, you know, shiny as this one. This one's even a better finish. You know, they did a really good job in the finish. And then another thing is they offer engraving on there, and it doesn't even cost that much more money. It's like very, very affordable just to have this engraving on it, and this makes it very unique to your school. You know, which is, which is great, you know, this engraving right here. You know, so, I mean, everything about this wooden dummy, I like it. You know, it's big, you know, sturdy. You know, I very, I very much recommend it. You know, and um, these wooden dummies are not easy to find. It's not like you go to Walmart or Target to just buy this, or you could go to Dick's Sporting Goods or Sports Authority. Not, you don't have that many options of ordering it from vendors in America. I mean, you got these carpenters that are very passionate about the martial arts that take the time into making something of high quality like this. So there's not that many places to order from. So, you know, I have both from different places now to do a comparison. You know, this is not a bad wooden dummy, but there's things that need to be improved upon. You know, and this, this, you know, this creator improved upon the things that need to be improved upon this one. The post had to be fixed and needs to be longer. The base has to be thicker. They did that. Now, another thing is, Americans are big people. You know, this wooden dummy is more for Chinese people, like Asian people. They're small people. Because everybody in China is like five foot five or under back in the back in the days. But now, with more food and more technology, more resources, um, people are getting larger and bigger. You know, now you got a Chinese person, Yao Ming, that's over seven feet tall. But we live in America and we're you know, the people that we're gonna have to fight against are large people. And this is you know, I've always said, you know, when I have people work on this, I'm like, you know, this, this is built for small people. They need to make a wooden dummy that's for big people because we live in an America and you are basically sparring against people that are very large. And this is like an extra large wooden dummy, you know, built for large people. You see how tall, how much taller this thing is than me? And the arms are very thick. This is simulating like a real arm that you're going to have to grab. You know, I mean... I like this, you know, like very thick, big, and you know, representing like more of like an actual opponent, you know, like larger than me and I'm going to have to fight, you know. So, I like this one and I'm going to be promoting this one. You know what I mean? I was promoting this one, which is great. Um, the creator of it, the, you know, of the product even contacted me and thanked me, you know, for making the product reviews because he's got a lot more orders in. Um, but you know, he was out of production for so long, I was going to order another one, and then that's what led me to this one, you know, and I think, um, through time, you know, things develop to become better, you know, that's what technology is all about, that's why we have these cars that are more energy, you know, fuel efficient, um, and they look very nice, you know, we got these TVs that, you know, we had we used to have the big tube TVs, now we got these flat screen TVs. We used to never even have cell phones, now we got such a thing as a smartphone. You know what I'm saying? So, these wooden dummies, they need to be improved upon. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, with technology, we should be able to, with technology and skill and art, we should be able to develop like a wooden dummy that's of even higher quality. So I see that this, this person right here did a very good job of creating a very high quality wooden dummy. It's not that this is, that this is not a good wooden dummy too, but they're both good. But this one is even better. And another thing is the price is even better than that one too. You know, so the actual quality of this is um, is a very high quality. Now, if you shop around in these websites, you'll notice that this guy's website is really well built. But the wooden dummy is not as high quality as that one. You come to this guy's website, his website is very like basic, not as flashy. But then the actual product is of extremely high quality. You know, so... You know, I see, you know, that sometimes, we, you know, you got people out there that are very good at certain things, certain skills, but they don't really put too much energy to, to advertise that. It's more of a hidden skill and talent. But whoever made this did a very good job. You know, and just the, the little things, the extras that they added on, the engraving that you could do, the thickness of the arm, how big the wooden dummy is and how large it is. You know how you can make it taller, the base is even stronger, the pole is longer, um, you know, the finish is very good. You know, so, you know, this is my honest assessment, you know what I mean? Um, it just is what it is. You know what I mean? As a consumer, we buy products and then we're going to pr provide feedback. You know, I'm providing some honest feedback. So I'm going to basically demonstrate a little bit on both and you'll see how they move around. But this is the first time, this is the first day I just got this. So I'll give some update videos. You know, if it starts breaking down, I'll let people know. But we'll see, you know. So I'm going to demonstrate with this one first. This is the one from the Shaolin house. So I'm going to kick in. Working the shins. Let's try this one. See if there's a difference.
there we have it. You know, both wooden dummies. Demonstrated with both. And um, they're both nice. High quality wood. But this is my honest feedback right now. And um, I hope, you know, to make people make good purchase, purchasing decisions. I mean, I've bought so many different things, tried so many different things, and I don't want people wasting their money on things that are inferior. You know, uh, we need to make, you know, buy high quality things that last long. And, um, you know, I, I, I'm not about buying low quality products, you know. I want to get some high quality products and um, I encourage people to spend that extra money to get the high quality stuff, you know. I bought so many low quality things before and it's just a very much, you know, it's a waste of money. But, you know, I'm really happy with this purchase and um, I really look forward to continue to keep working with this and promoting this. And remember, this is the FMK wooden dummy. This is not Wing Chun. This is not JKD. This is my thing, you know. See for Freddie Lee promoting the use of this as a training tool for self-defense and for martial arts. And yes, promoting the Chinese culture, but not just the Chinese culture, but let's promote the Eastern ways of uh, living. You know, let's promote the Tao, let's promote Zen, let's promote meditation, let's promote the teachings of Buddha. You know, it's not just about China, it's about, you know, learning from the East, learning from the West, and putting it together. You know, so I appreciate the creators of these uh, wooden dummies of um, having that passion in the marsh, you know, for the martial arts and um, appreciating the culture, you know, of the East in order to, you know, create something like this. You know, you know, they could have very easily got into something and just making furniture, but no, they decided to put their skills into creating training equipment, you know, for, for martial artists in this world. And this is an excellent training equipment that pretty much cannot re be replaced by, you know, a punching bag or a bob dummy or a Muay Thai bag. I mean, this thing also is separating and showing, like, this is training for, like, close to, this is like real martial arts training. This is not just combat sport. You know, you don't, don't think that you're just going to find this, you know, in an in a MMA gym or, or, like, you know, these, like, Taekwondo gyms or whatever gyms out there. This is more of like real self-defense, real survival type of training, you know. Um, and it's extremely high quality, you know. Check it out. Um, this is the one that is from uh, Everything Wing Chun and Warrior Martial Arts Supply. Um, the other one's from the Shaolin House, right? Um, I do definitely highly recommend it. You know, you, you take good care of these products to last you for your whole life, you know, so a thousand dollars is nothing, you know, stop drinking alcohol, stop going to the movies, stop smoking cigarettes, stop, you know, paying money to, to watch cable television, save that money, and get something like this, that's what I recommend.